Hi guys, Kotu Tan here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the discussion of MVC, we had look at two different types of MVC models that is MVC and active model MVC. For the discussion purpose, let me redraw this so that I can highlight the things that I want to talk about. As you can see here in both MVC and active model MVC the controller sits between the view and the model now in a android mobile app there can be multiple responsibilities that we will be doing like rendering navigation parsing data formatting event handling business logic now the question is where do these different tasks typically sit in this particular model well ui rendering will definitely go with the view and then on device database and business logic typically goes with the model and when it comes to controller event handling will definitely be part of the controller and some people will say that data formatting should also be part of the controller now what happens to navigation navigation between different screens api integration basically the networking part and the parsing whatever the response that we are getting from the api responses well you can put these things either in controller or in the model for example some will say that put the navigation in the controller api integration and parsing should be part of the model some people will say that the data formatting should be part of the view because how data needs to be shown should be decided by the view not the controller and then push the parsing from the model to the controller basically what i am trying to say here is mvc mainly tries to solve the ui interaction model the problem that it is trying to solve is basically the ui how to keep the ui logic clean and simple it is not designed to basically solve some of the advanced things that we typically see in mobile applications mvc came into picture in late 70s in 1979 at that time there were no mobile screens and there were no mobile interaction they were mainly meant for consoles and websites so there is slight disagreement or different perception about where these responsibilities should be assigned in the mvc though there is some major consensus that the view should definitely do the ui rendering and it should definitely not do say business logic those things are pretty much rock solid standards but there is always some flexibility that you can take depending upon your specific applications scenario so basically what i am trying to say is you as a developer should decide where you want to put this particular responsibility have a consensus among the team and then stick to it you can always debate why it should be put where but once you decide try to stick to that and make sure that everybody adheres to that particular decision so having understood in terms of the assignment of the responsibilities for the various components in mvc it is time to have a quick discussion on what can be inferred from this mvc and active model mvc architecture controller sits in the middle of the view and model here so model can be independently tested of the view and controller since model doesn't have a reference to a controller or the view it can be tested very easily in the active model mvc model though it updates the view but it updates it through observer design pattern it still doesn't hold the reference to a view and since the controller acts as man in the middle over a period of time the controller can become really complicated what do i mean by this is as your ui changes happen your controller needs to change and the ui changes are very often in the mobile application so as your ui evolves your controller evolves and as your model evolves your controller evolves so even if any slight changes happen either in the view or in the model that will definitely have a impact on the controller and over a period of time what happens in mvc is your controller becomes very complicated and bloated since the controller has a reference to view and model testing the controller becomes really complicated now let us try to understand what is the slight difference between mvc and active model mvc in case of active model mvc model updates view through the observer design pattern but in case of mvc model and view never 
interact and view needs a model to get any updates in case of active model emvc and in case of the so called emvc that we have implemented view needs the controller to get the updates because view and model never get to interact with one another the only way view can come to know what needs to be updated is through the controller and in case of active model emvc controller's responsibility is not ui rendering controller just forwards the command to the model it is model that updates the view through the observer design pattern but in case of so called mvc that we have implemented controller's main responsibility is ui rendering depending upon whatever the response that it gets from the model the controller needs to update the view so basically controller is also doing the presentation logic since the controller's responsibility is ui rendering instead of calling it as controller why can't we call it as presenter and this is what most of the people do whatever the active model mvc that we have implemented they rather call it as as a strict mvc design architecture and whatever the so called mvc that we had implemented earlier without any view and model interaction they rather call it as mvp so in case of mvp the view and model never get to interact with one another and in case of mvc the model directly updates the view this is the main difference between a mvc and mvp this approach slightly changes the responsibility of view in case of mvc and mvp in case of mvp view can only concentrate on rendering but in case of mvc view will have to do more than just rendering because model will not be taking care of formatting of the data as per the view's requirement it will just notify changes to the view and it is the view's responsibility to format it and then render it in case of mvp the presenter will format the data and give it to the view so that view can only concentrate on the rendering view has no dependency on the model and hence it can be unit tested very easily in case of mvp design architecture however in case of mvc view is dependent on model and that is why testing of the view in mvc becomes slightly more complicated than mvp now we have moved from mvc to mvp in our discussion so stay tuned for the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye